today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1703 in Edo, Japan, now called Tokyo, 46 of the 47 ronin commit ritual suicide as recompense for avenging their master's death. But what happened to that other guy? In 1762, Great Britain declares war on Spain and Naples. In 1783, Great Britain officially proclaims an end to hostilities in America. Also in 1783, in Calabria, Italy, an earthquake causes 50,000 deaths. In 1789, George Washington is elected first president of the United States. In 1794, slavery is abolished throughout all territories of the French Republic. In 1797, the Rio Bamba earthquake strikes Ecuador, causing up to 40,000 casualties. In 1801, John Marshall is sworn in as Chief Justice of the United States. In 1822, free American blacks begin to settle Liberia, West Africa. In 1824, J.W. Goodrich introduces rubber galoshes to the general public. In 1846, the first Mormon pioneers start their journey from Nauvoo, Illinois, west towards Utah Territory. In 1847, Samuel Colt sells his first revolver pistol to the United States government. In 1849, the University of Wisconsin begins in one room with 20 students. In 1854, Alvin Bouvet proposes the name the Republican Party in Ripon, Wisconsin. In 1861, the Confederate Constitutional Convention begins for the first time in Montgomery, Alabama. Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, and South Carolina elect Jefferson Davis president of the Confederacy. In 1865, the New York Stock Exchange opens its first permanent headquarters. In 1866, Christian science founder Mary Baker Eddy reportedly cures her injuries by opening a Bible. In 1896, Utah is admitted as the 45th U.S. state. In 1899, the Philippine-American War begins. In 1902, American pilot Charles Lindbergh is born today. In 1908, star number 46 was added to the U.S. flag for Oklahoma. In 1913, activist Rosa Parks is born today. In 1920, the first flight from London to South Africa takes off. It really wasn't that exciting from a time standpoint as it took one and a half months. In 1924, the first modern Winter Olympic Games close at Chaminade, France. In 1932, it's the first time the United States begins hosting a Winter Olympics game. It was in Lake Placid, New York. In 1933, German President von Hindenburg limits freedom of the press. In 1938, Thornton Wilder's play Our Town makes its Broadway debut. Also on this day, Hitler seizes control of the German army and puts Nazis in key posts. In 1941, the United Service Organization, more commonly referred to as the USO, is created to entertain American troops. In 1945, the Yalta Conference opens today when the Allies meet to decide the final fate of Germany. World War II was effectively over. In 1948, American glam rocker Alice Cooper is born. In 1952, baseball's Jackie Robinson becomes the first African-American executive of a major TV station, WNBC New York. In 1956, baseball's American League decides to test the automatic intentional walk during spring training. In 1957, the first electric portable typewriter is introduced for sale in Syracuse, New York. If you don't know what that means, you can Google it. Also in 1957, Joseph Hardaway, the creator of Bugs Bunny, dies at 66 years old. In 1958, Russian satellite Sputnik 1 falls to Earth from orbit. Also in 1958, Major League Baseball's Hall of Fame fails to elect anyone. In 1962, Russian newspaper Izvetsia claims that baseball is an old Russian game. In 1964, the 24th Amendment abolishes poll taxes. In 1966, all Nippon Airways Flight 60 plunges into Tokyo Bay, killing 133 people. In 1967, a cover version of the song Wild Thing by Senator Bobby hits number 20 on the pop singles chart. The Trogs did the original. In 1969, John Madden is named head coach of the NFL's Oakland Raiders. In 1970, a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake strikes Tonghai County, China, 
killing at least 15,000 people. Also in 1970, the movie Patton, starring George C. Scott, premieres in New York. It wins the Best Picture Oscar. In 1971, British car maker Rolls-Royce declares itself bankrupt. Also in 1971, the NASDAQ Stock Exchange is founded in New York City. In 1972, Rose Hilbron becomes the first female judge to sit at the Old Bailey in London, England. Also in 1972, U.S. Senator Strom Thurmond suggests John Lennon should be deported. In 1973, comic strip Hagger the Horrible by Dick Brown debuts. In 1974, newspaper heiress Patty Hearst was kidnapped by members of the Symbionese Liberation Army. Also in 1974, the Provisional Irish Republican Army, or the IRA, explodes a bomb on a bus carrying off-duty British Armed Forces personnel in Yorkshire, England. Nine soldiers and three civilians are killed. In 1974 as well, U.S. President Richard Nixon refuses to hand over Watergate materials subpoenaed by the Senate. In 1976, in Guatemala and Honduras, an earthquake kills more than 22,000 people today. Also in 1976, the 12th Winter Olympics Games opens in Innsbruck, Austria. In 1977, in the agency's worst accident ever, a Chicago Transit Authority elevated train rear-ends another and derails, killing 11 and injuring 180. Also in 1977, Fleetwood Mac's Grammy Album of the Year, Rumors, is released. It is their 11th studio album. Also in 1977, Paul McCartney's group Wings releases their song, Maybe I'm Amazed. In 1980, New York City's infamous Studio 54 holds its grand closing party on this, its last night in business. In 1983, pop singer and drummer Karen Carpenter dies in Downey, California at age 32. Also today, the U.S. Male Figure Skating Championship is won by Scott Hamilton. In 1985, 20 countries sign a U.N. treaty outlawing torture. The U.S. did not sign. In 1987, American entertainer Liberace dies today. Also in 1987, in the NBA, the Sacramento Kings score only four points in the first quarter against the Lakers. In 1991, baseball's Hall of Fame Board of Directors votes 12-0 to bar Pete Rose due to his betting on games while he was a player and a manager. Just my opinion, but I believe there are those in baseball who have done worse. Also in 1991, Alex Trebek becomes the first person to host three American game shows at the same time, Jeopardy, Classic Concentration, and To Tell the Truth. In 1996, a major snowstorm paralyzes the Midwestern United States. In 1997, a civil jury finds O.J. Simpson liable for the deaths of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her companion, Ronald Goldman. In 1998, an earthquake measuring 6.1 on the Richter scale kills more than 5,000 in Afghanistan. Also in 1998, Bill Gates gets a pie thrown in his face in Brussels, Belgium. In 1999, former professional wrestler Jesse Ventura is sworn in as governor of Minnesota. In 2000, the simulation video game The Sims is released in North America. In 2002, the world's largest independent cancer research charity Cancer Research UK is founded. In 2003, Yugoslavia officially changed its name to Serbia and Montenegro. In 2004, Facebook is founded as The Facebook. One word. It has over 1 billion active users. Also in 2004, The Spirit, a NASA Mars rover, lands successfully on Mars. In 2007, the 110th United States Congress convenes, electing Nancy Pelosi as the first female speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. In 2010, Australia's federal court sets a worldwide precedent that internet service providers, or ISPs, are not responsible for what their users do with the services the ISPs provide. In 2012, British servicewoman Florence Green, the last surviving veteran of World War I, died at age 110. In 2013, Paris, France finally removes a 213-year-old law banning women from wearing pants. In 2014, same-sex marriage is legalized in Scotland. In 2015, today Post Malone uploads his debut single, White Iverson, to his SoundCloud. 
In 2018, Super Bowl 52 is played at the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Philadelphia Eagles defeat the New England Patriots 41-33. In 2020, radio personality Rush Limbaugh is presented the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Donald Trump during the State of the Union Address. Also in 2020, Charles McGee, retired U.S. Air Force officer and fighter pilot from the Tuskegee Airmen, is promoted from Colonel to Brigadier General. In 2021, President Joe Biden announces that the U.S. will cease providing weapons to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates for use in the Yemeni civil war. Also in 2021, an international criminal court convicts Dominic Ongwen, a Ugandan resistance commander, of war crimes and crimes against humanity, including forced pregnancy. Also in 2021, the first successful face and double hand transplant was performed on 22-year-old Joe DeMio in New York. And in 2022, today, literally today, the Winter Olympics begin in Beijing, China. The U.S. ladies hockey team beat the Finnish ladies hockey team 5-2. That sounds like reason for a celebration. You should watch some more of my videos. I'm glad I'm done with this episode so I can go watch some of the opening ceremonies with my wife.